Remember during the lockdown when nobody could get married? How amazing was that? It's like I tell people who are getting married, I'm like, you gotta understand something. It's the most important day of your life. Do you know what day it is to everybody else? It's Saturday and you're ruining the whole goddamn thing. And don't get me started on these people who get married on Sunday afternoons. Who raised these people? They're always like, you know, we really just wanted a brunch wedding. No, you wanted 20% off the venue. Don't bullshit me. Who do you think you're talking to? Now you got your brunch wedding and I got a cha-cha slide at two in the afternoon on the Lord's Day. It's not proper. I don't wobble before sundown, you heathens. I won't do it. These weddings are too much work. They're all day. They do like the, the ceremony at one, and then the reception's not until six. Last wedding I went to, I asked the bride, I'm like, what am I supposed to do to kill five hours? And this woman goes, you know, there's a park near the venue. I said, a park? Get the hell out of here. You're not gonna believe this. I was just telling somebody, do you know what I would love to do today? I would love to walk around a park in a full suit and tie under direct sunlight on the hottest day in July. I was like, I went over the summer, I went to a barn wedding, a wedding in a barn. That's the hot new wedding trend, pretending to be farmers. He's a doctor, she's a lawyer. They thought they'd try on lower middle class for a day. Instead of a gift, I just gave him a government subsidy just to stick with the whole farming theme. The bride wouldn't shut up about this barn the whole night. She's like, how about this barn? Is this barn something? Doesn't it have such character? I was like, yeah, you know what it doesn't have? Central air. Nobody should be dehydrated at a wedding. Look around, these people are dropping like flies. I'm trying to take in fluids, but I can only fit so much water in this mason jar you're making me drink out of. What other ideas did Chip and Joanna give you for the big day? Did you throw up a little shiplap, maybe a couple of giant clocks, you dicks? And I didn't know anybody at the wedding. Isn't that the worst? When you don't know anybody at the wedding, they put you at that table with all the other bottom of the guest list rejects, right? It's like you, their mechanic, the groom's buddy from the gym, right? You gotta make small talk with this meathead all night. Only two groups of people really like weddings. People in their 20s, because they're broke and it's open bar. And people in their 70s, because they're just happy they're not at a funeral. But to everybody else, it's a sixth work day, and you people who do destination weddings, you can go straight to hell. You get engaged, and now I have to renew my passport? That's not how this works. That's not how this works. We had friends of ours who got married in Colombia. Yeah. yeah, neither one of them Colombian. They just wanted to be different. I was like, well, yeah, trying to avoid being kidnapped is pretty different for a wedding. Maybe for the flight home, I'll shove an eight ball up my ass to really complete the experience of Columbia. <laughs> 